What is going on, beautiful people of the world? Happy 12 days of gratitude. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is my favorite time of the year. The Thrive Forever Fit podcast turns into the 12 days of gratitude series this time every single year. So from the 13th of December all the way through December the 24th, Christmas Eve, I will be launching a brand new episode with a special guest talking about the powers and awesomeness of gratitude. So make sure you tune in, make sure you listen to all 12 episodes. I promise you, they will be amazing, they will be awesome. And I wanna wish you a very Merry Christmas, an abundant holiday season, whatever you're into, be into it. I'm into it with you, love you, enjoy the series, here we go. Let's talk about gratitude. An overused and underutilized word. Think about that. Overused, underutilized. If you guys know anything about me, you know that I am grateful and thankful for this existence, for this opportunity, for this awesome life that I get to live. I start every single morning with a simple process. As soon as my eyes open, I say, thank you. Actually, the first thing I say is, holy shit, I'm alive because here we go. And then I say, thank you. Then I immediately go into my kitchen or my office and I write down my gratitude for the day. I write down at least three things that I'm grateful for. And lately I've been just thanking the universe. I've been thanking God for this opportunity and for the overflow of abundance and awesomeness that I get to experience in my life. And you guys are all a part of that. I am grateful and I am thankful for you. So as you know, if you listen to the intro, which I'm sure you did, you know this is day one of the 12 Days of Gratitude series. I like to turn the podcast into a series of gratefulness, a series of thankfulness, bringing awesome human beings into your world, letting you hear their stories of how they use gratitude on a daily basis to make their lives more positive, more powerful, more awesome. And the hope is that you will start to use gratitude as well to make your life as abundant and as awesome as it should be. So today's day one, I'm obviously the host, Jay Nixon, and I wanna tell you what gratitude means to me. I've lived a life, my first life, I call that between the ages of five and, and 25, where I wasn't very grateful. I didn't even know what gratitude was. I didn't know the powers of it. I didn't know that the universe was abundant. I didn't know there was an infinite possibilities I was living in this little tiny bubble that I just thought things happened to you and you had no control over them. Lucky for me, I woke up, I came out of that shell, I came out of that darkness, and I realized that this life, this life that we get to live is amazing. Opportunities are endless, infinite. And all we have to do is start to tap into those infinite possibilities and the number one resource we have to do that is gratitude. And I know that sounds simple. And that's why I said at the beginning, it's overused and underutilized. People always say, oh, I'm going to talk about gratitude or I'm grateful for this and I'm whatever. But when I say it's underutilized, you're not using it for its true power, for its true awesomeness, for the ability that it has to transform your life. You see, here's the deal. You cannot be grateful and depressed at the same time. And I know that may be shocking to some of you, but you can't be positive and powerful and happy and grateful and also anxiety ridden, overwhelmed and depressed at the same time. Now, I'm not saying your life's gonna be perfect just because you are grateful, just because you write down on a, on a card like I do every day, things that you're grateful for and how much you love your life and all the people and all the wonderment that you are so appreciative of. Your life's not gonna be magical just because of that. But if you don't do that, your life damn sure isn't going to be magical. And so the reason I say that to you is I want you to understand that like by living a life that is guided by gratitude, finding the good in things, life happens for you and not to you, your life will transform because you will see things differently. And when you see things differently, you'll act differently. When you act differently, the decisions you make will be different. And those decisions will lead you to a life of infinite possibilities, of infinite abundance. And I use those words a lot because I want to drive them home to you. I want to immerse you in that kind of language. If you're not using words like awesomeness and abundance and opportunity, then what words are you using? Because those words are what are driving your mindset. And your mindset is the strongest thing, the strongest tool that you have for this beautiful life that we get to live. 
And you see, that's the difference. Some of us aren't really living that life yet because we haven't tapped into the wonderment and the possibilities of what gratitude, thankfulness can bring to your world. You see, I'm thankful for it all. I'm thankful for the challenges as well. I'm thankful for the obstacles because I know on the other side of those obstacles are the opportunities because I've turned so many of those challenges into opportunities. I've turned so many of those obstacles into abundance. I'm living a life now that I absolutely love and it is predicated on gratitude. It's predicated on making my heart full of love and joy and happiness so that I can transcend that into other people's lives through the words that I use, through the actions that I, that I have within the world. You see, one of my daily objectives is to make the world a better place. And I can only do that by impacting each and every life that I get the opportunity to touch on a daily basis, whether it's with my words. Maybe it's you listening to this podcast today. Maybe this, this little snippet of me just talking about how powerful I believe gratitude is and how grateful I am for this wonderful life that, that I get to live and for the opportunities that are in front of me and that are present within me right now. Maybe it'll change the way that you think a little bit. And that really is one of my goals. And I do that by leading with gratitude. I do that by leading with thankfulness for the opportunity for this platform to be able to, for you to click a button and hear my positive, powerful words. And hopefully they make a, a shift inside of you. If you're overwhelmed, if you're challenged, if you're feeling depression or anxiety, I don't want you to feel those things. And I want you to feel the love and the la the laughter and the happiness and the awesomeness and the just the wonderment that I believe that life is. Like I'm so excited for the future, but I'm so, 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 so connected to the present. And it's in the present moment that I'm grateful for you. If you're listening right now, I want you to hear those words. I'm actually grateful for you. I may not even know you. I may never meet you. We may never have the opportunity to shake hands, high five, or give each other a hug. But I want you to know if you're a human being on this planet, we share a connected energy. We're connected. We're all connected, guys. And through that connection, I want you to understand that you are loved. You have the opportunity to have an abundant, infinite life of awesomeness, of, of everything that you desire. And I can promise you this, if you'll start with one thing, you'll start with one simple thing, and that's just the belief around gratitude. And I say belief because if you're just going through the motions that won't be strong enough, it has to be a belief that it's going to be impactful in your life, that it's going to create an opportunity in your life. Every single morning, I write down a whole series of phrases and statements and, and people and places and things and opportunities that I'm grateful for. And through that, my energy is connected to those people, places, and things. I know that sounds a little bit woo-woo and, 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 and maybe a little bit far-fetched for you to be able to conceptualize, but I know it's true because I've been doing it for so long and I know that the power of that connection and the power of that energy transference and that connection that I have to you and to the people that I love and the people that I get to impact and, and have in my life, I know that the value of that gratitude is you can't put a price on it. You can't put anything on it. It is one of the most important tools, important resources, important beliefs that you will ever have. And so I say this to you so that hopefully you'll listen to this these 12 interviews, this 12 um, consecutive days of, of gratitude and thankfulness, and you'll hear the words, and you'll, you'll more than hear the words, you'll feel the energy, and you'll feel the connection, and you'll feel the love, and you'll feel the opportunity that you have to be, do, and have anything in your life that you desire, the opportunity that you have to go from wherever you are to wherever it is you want to be, and I'm giving you, a, a, I'm giving you a, a small snippet today, right, because I can't I could talk to you about gratitude for, for six hours and I could show you and I could, I could tell you stories about how it has impacted my life in, in magnificent and in unbelievable ways. But my goal here today is just to get you to be open-minded about it. My, my goal here today is to get you to, if you are someone who, who believes that they're grateful and thankful and you, you're just maybe going through the motions that you really dive a little bit deeper into it and you get connected to it. You see, because it's in that connection, like I talk about, it's in that feeling and that emotion. When I write down my gratitude card, I am emotional about the people that I write, I write on my card. I'm emotional about the, the thankfulness that I thank the universe and God for every single day. I'm emotional about the opportunity. I'm emotional about this 
chance that I get right now to speak to you, wherever you are in the world. This is filling my gratitude bucket up because my hope is, my belief is that something I say, something one of my guests says over the next 12 days will make a shift in your life. Just a small shift, and that's all you need is a small shift of thinking, a small shift of believing that you can. And I want to say this to you again because I want you to write this down. You can be, do, and have everything in your life you desire, guys. You're going to have to take some actions. You're going to have to do some work. But the most important thing you can do is be grateful for what it is that you have so that the universe will open up its abundance to you and, and allow you to receive all of the amazingness that it has to offer. Because you'll never exceed your expectations. What I mean by that is you'll never be more. You'll never have more. You'll never do more than you believe you're capable of. And one of your greatest tools on that journey will be gratitude, being thankful for people, being thankful for places, being thankful for things, being thankful for opportunities, even if that opportunity is presented to you in the form of an obstacle. Gratitude is one of the most powerful forces of energy that you have at your fingertips. All you have to do is shift your mindset to that of a, a grateful and thankful nature and your life will begin to change immediately. I'm so excited about these interviews. I'm so excited about the next 12 days. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for listening to me for this long. I cannot wait for tomorrow for you to get to meet my first guest and then the day after and the day after and the day after. I never want it to end. And so take this time, take these next 12 days and embrace the belief of gratitude and know that you're loved know that I'm thankful and grateful for you and know that we have endless opportunities of abundance. And I believe that if we start to share that collective energy of love and awesomeness and abundance and just the connection to each other, and we do that through the gratitudinal energy, because gratitude and leave it a word. I don't know. I say it a lot. I hope it is. If it's not, will somebody please say that's Jay Nixon's word, but through the gratitudinal exchange of energy and awesomeness, we can create the world that we really desire. And I firmly believe that. And so for the next 12 days, I want you to open your heart and your brain to that belief system. And I can't wait to be back with you tomorrow. All right. Love you. See you tomorrow. Bye.